Today I wanted to show you a little fun I had bleaching some jersey knit. I created my own striped fabric. You'll probably have these things around your house. Painter's tape, household bleach spray, a wave blade for your rotary cutter, the pattern of your choice, I happen to use 1064 opposites attract, and some cotton jersey knit. It has to have cotton to be able to be bleached in this method. I always do a test sample to see what I'm going to get underneath that black fabric that I start with. I'll chalk around my pattern pieces, giving myself plenty of margin. My fabric at this point is not pre-shrunk, so I want to make sure that I allow enough margin around and enough for shrinkage. With my painter's tape on my rotary mat, I'm going to use the wave blade and just cut right through the painter's tape. This will give me a wavy edge that's going to be the design element for my fabric. Now depending on how I lay down the tape on the fabric, I can get like a diamond pattern or a zigzag pattern. It's your choice. The beauty of the painter's tape is it's easily removable and repositionable so you can have some fun with your design. So I've just cut painter's tape and I'm laying it out on my chalked design on my fabric. I decided to go with like a zigzag pattern and I left a straight the straight edge of the tape as another design element and an additional stripe within the fabric. And you see how I'm moving the tape, you know, up and down basically to get that zigzag pattern. It's just really simple and easy to do. I just measure out a bit of tape and then cut it and off I go. Let's speed this up because, you know, it's a little bit like watching painter's tape dry. So I'm just repeating the pattern over and over again, completely filling in my chalked area for my garment. Now on to the opposite side. I'm going to use my ruler so that I can line up where I'm going to lay down that first bit of tape. That straight line that you see through my pattern, that's the center front of this particular pattern. So I'm just laying my ruler at a 45 degree angle and that's going to give me my guideline for my first piece of tape. Now I decided to do things a little differently because I like asymmetry. So instead of the stripes being the bleached part, this time the zigzag is going to be the original fabric, the underlying fabric, and what gets bleached is going to be between this zigzag. So I just cut through the painter's tape, both sides, making a little zigzag bits of painter's tape. I can spread out the width, keeping in mind that wherever the blue tape is, that's what stays the original color, and whatever is exposed is what is going to be bleached out by the bleach spray that I'll use in just a little bit here. I'm just kind of playing here and deciding how much width that I want in between. It's kind of fun because you can easily change your mind, pick up that painter's tape, and readjust. Again, let's just speed things up and continue on with my zigzag pattern. I'm almost done completing this zigzag pattern up here and it occurs to me that I want things to look a little different. So I lay my ruler at a perpendicular angle to that last strip and now I'm just making my zigzag strips go the other direction. 
there's no rhyme or reason half the time to what I do. I just kind of like do what I feel looks good and what I think might look the most interesting. Having it all go in one direction would have been fine, but I think in this particular pattern, and you'll see when it's all done, it's just a little more interesting having that extra change in the stripes. So again, you're just cutting tape and putting it down and cutting tape and putting it down. So it, it can seem like a little tedious, but it actually goes pretty fast once you get going. And it's something simple to fill in and do. Um, it's just kind of mindless filling in stripes at this point. So let's watch. All right, so now I'm all ready to use my bleach spray to discharge this fabric. Make sure that you put down some protective cover or your work area because you are spraying and it is going to go outside the lines there a little bit. So make sure you protect your work surface. Like I said, you are going to be using just household bleach spray. This happens to be Clorox brand. It can be any kind that has bleach in it. And I am just going to be spraying right over top, making sure I get even coverage, as even as I possibly can, over all the area that, you know, is chalked. It doesn't matter if you go outside that, it's going to be cut away. But you want to make sure that you're getting all that bleach spray in between all the little stripey areas and stuff. Um, it's pretty easy to see where you've gone. Um, what will happen sometimes is you might overspray, so those areas might get a little bit more bleached out. You'll see that later. But I like the way this turns out and it's kind of organic and not perfect. The bleach spray bottle that I'm using is kind of, it'll come out kind of in blobs sometimes. So you'll get like heavy droplets and then you'll get a fine misty spray. There's different ways of doing this, but I just grab the bottle and go and have some fun with it, making sure everything's covered. After a few minutes have gone by, you'll be ready to remove your tape. The amount of bleaching I like to stop right before I think it's where I want it to be because the fabric will continue to bleach out as you're working to remove the tape. Now I simply have this uh, uh, yellow rag in my hand to blot the excess bleach that is sitting on top of that painter's tape. Just so when I pull it up, it doesn't splash or drip extra bits. And that's just uh, going ahead and removing some of that excess that's just sitting on top of that painter's tape because the painter's tape is non-porous. So that's what protected your fabric. I'm just gonna speed things up so you can see. I often think I wanna work fast like this. Wish I did. Um, but you can see what's happening of how the fabric was bleached out and where it was protected stayed black. This black turned a beautiful kind of bronzy copper color. I love it. Now, after I've washed the fabric, I'm going to cut my pattern pieces out and I'll be ready to assemble. So here's my completed top with its own custom striped fabric fronts. The black sleeves and back are just the original fabric unbleached. It makes a great, stunning, very custom design. Here's a little sample I did of all the colors of the cotton jersey I have and what they bleach out to. These I left on as long as possible just to see, but you can stop it whenever you like the way it looks. Just stop bleaching at that point and wash your fabric quickly. Thank you for watching the bleached jersey knit technique. I hope you enjoyed it and join my private Facebook group. On Facebook, it's Sewing with Danny Marie. You can find all the notions and fabrics at thesewingplace.com. Don't forget to join my channel, Dana Marie Design Company on YouTube. Have a great sewing day.